What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Mic Check Podcast. This is T-Word, the People's Champ. Thanks for tapping in. Today, we're going to talk about Clarissa Shields and her upcoming opponent on June 3rd. Before we start the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. On June 3rd, Clarissa Shields is going to be headed back to the ring for boxing, not MMA, and she'll be facing a previous opponent, Hannah Gabriels, so they're going to get in round two. Uh, many of you may recall that they had a really good battle a few years ago where Gabriels actually dropped Clarissa Shields and then Shields was able to come back and dominate the rest of the fight. Now, when I watched the fight, I saw somebody that really gave Clarissa everything that she could handle. I mean, she pressed her, she laid down a thud with some power, and really the knockdown was more of a kind of catching Shields at the right time, a little off balance, you know, maybe doing a little uncharacteristic stuff. Um, but still a credit to Hannah for getting her down. Um, something you just don't see from Shields. Uh, that was the last fight I felt like was really competitive up until the Marshall fight for Clarissa. Now, something else that I liked about Hannah was she has a, um, she's physically imposing. You know what I mean? Like she's not a small woman. Um, she's solidly built. And for boxing, you know, there's a certain sturdiness to her that's gonna allow her to weather the storm when Clarissa starts to run her hands and starts to apply pressure. I think Hannah can be there um, to fight back and maybe even put in a better effort than the last time. Something I noticed towards the end of that fight was it seems like there came a point where Clarissa took her will and Hannah was hesitant to take more punches, given more experience and things of that nature. I could see her putting up a much better effort and it wasn't it wasn't bad the first time. I just thought that brighter lights, biggest stage ever, it took a lot out of her and then you're getting hit by one of the best women's boxers in the world. Um, this time around, she'll have been a champion in multiple weight classes and I think she's going to give an even better showing for herself and it's going to be a real interesting fight for Clarissa I think this is really going to stamp on her legacy as one of the best women's fighters not going to pick a winner yet I want to look at a little bit more tape and see what Hannah has done since the last time they fought since the last time they fought and get some particulars you know some very specific things that I think show where she's improved and gives her a better chance and then I also want to look at areas where maybe Clarissa has either taking a step back or maybe something she's added that could give Hannah trouble. So I think this is going to be a really good fight analysis. Probably do a live film study um, one day before the fight sometime in May. Uh, if you guys are interested, let me know. We'll set something up. We can have up to 10 people. All right. So we'll love to get your thoughts on this upcoming fight. It's going to be June 3rd. Clarissa Shields, Hannah Gabriels at Little Caesars in Detroit. Uh, like we talked about in the previous video, Clarissa wanted to fight in the U.S. and she's going to get that against a very game opponent. So give me your thoughts. This has been T-Word for the Mike Check Podcast. Until the next time, I'm out. Peace.